Sony had a radio that was called the Sony Triple Seven. Ah, yeah, yeah, yes. I remember it. I remember it. You remember it? I remember it. The Sony Triple Seven ulikuwa unaweza kuchomoa speakers on either side. Yeah. Alafu they'd put a sticker that had said Mega Bass. Yes. yes. <laughs> Na ilikuwa tu ni cassette pande mbili. Mbili eh. Yeah. Alafu sasa Discman ndio hiyo ikaingia. So ulikuwa unachukua Discman unatumia audio in line into the Sony. Oh, hey, mulikuwa mnaicheza. Hey! Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yes. Played down, you know, it really played it down. In fact, I wasn't even around. Ah, <laughs> I was mean the while I was saying, Ulif Ulifungiwa, Ulifungiwa, Nikiwa Rongo. Oh, Lena Kona Maze, Maze, serious. So, Nikana Kumano, and Kasama next week, Narudi. Ah, Nea Kafanyo Kit, Ukopa, Ukopa Tikana. First week in the one stress, Manzi. On a shindu, it's a how to do that. Jesus, I will go away in second week, no get a landlord during the third week. Manzi by the fourth week, Nasma Manzi and a Kudunini. Ukasama Tunichio. Eh, Nasma and okay, say none of the Nakisha Quenda, Nataka Quenda. But what am I going to do? Rosa, if you just decided, yes, you know what? What am I going Let to do? Chill. Yeah, there's no work. Yeah, yeah. Not going anywhere. Everyone's just chilling. So I'm just going to chill uh -huh. at home. So can decide to chill now, man. What is it? If he is like any a perfect space, such a space, yes. Akuna kelele, akuna neighbors, you know, fanya ni nuna, akuna skatu ma bad. Yeah, yeah. Akuna ni na siku almenda. Me, me, me like I was born in Nairobi. So my whole life, like when I arrived, can I watch any? Maybe something has happened. Yeah. Had me funeral. Funeral. Most of the time is always our celebration, which is rarely like once or twice a year. Yeah. So I've never got to. Gotten to a to a point where I'm staying in shacks for two months. Mm. Never ever ever. Most is a week. <laughs> Even at my dad's funeral, like two weeks mostly because yeah, yeah, yeah. the traditions. Traditions and all of yeah. that. But now on this time was like a whole three four months. And by the second month, I didn't want to come back. Boss, uh, no no no. Listen, <laughs> Abu, tell me what was your routine like? Sasa una Fondio hiyo eh ni aze what ni ni plan ni 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 ni. Akuna plan. Akuna akuna for me what ni ni. So I used to wake up. Um, plus, I was stressed. I think honestly, it was time to need to. I think it it happened too for me at the right time. I feel like I need to your downtime to do. I need to move. I need to do. I need job. Your time I was working for agency. Yes. Uh, there were no jobs really coming in. Mm. You know, so the stress. So the guys being laid off. Also, so bad. Oh, for sure. Mm. Um, um, I was still doing some some of my school work, which I stalled. Also, so yes. I was like, it just. Confused, like I have so many things happening, projects pending, not finished. No, no, you know, I was, just, I was just disorganized basically. You know, mm. like my head was just disorganized. So, when I went, went to Rongo on that first month, second month, you know, I just started coming down. Mm. Okay, now the, what I mean, I was just like in a space of why am I stressing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why, why, like for what reason, you know? Uh -huh. So, I just said, you know what. I'm tired. First of all, I'm tired of this job. <laughs> it's too much because this was giving me like sixty percent of my stress. Yes, you know, I I am in a different space. I need to 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 do things which I'm interested in and in a la and and I, I and, and and I love. You know, I need to change. Just like my whole thinking, a relapse. Just a basically. relapse. You know, I, basically, I didn't know what I really wanted, but I just felt like I need something else. Yes, like whatever I've been doing for the past six seven years, it's like I've already had like enough of it. Mm. Now let's let's throw it back, mm -hmm. Kambisa. You know that song, like we, you know, when we started that whole conversation, right? At this point, you're 18. Yes. Yes. So I, was a big pain. We had just finished high school. Yes. I just finished because we just done my exam from Saint Christopher's. Uh, I was about to ask you. Yes. Yes. Uh, only concern Saint Christopher's. Oh, Saint Christopher's. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Funny exam. It's around uh, June, Sasa. I'm mm. going to Malaysia. So the whole time, so the youngest of you two, after high school, man, the only thing you do, you go for computer classes. Gap here, nini, 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 nini,
unangoja uh, exam zetu and of course now before that of course I've met Isa yes I mean, now not prior before he was in school then he had we had just finished the same year actually he had finished a year before oh uh, okay okay um so um tulikuwa tumefanya the collab was definitely our first song now Joe now this one I'm still now in mm. in high school 17 then now when you did when I recorded big it was his idea I mean it was Lucas's ideas like yeah cuz at first we were we were Isa and Big Pin and yes. the Pirates because we had this thing for like pulling like a red and meth those are ah, yeah, 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 yeah. that was like our thing you know okay. so, yeah since i had like groovy um vibes uh, vibes and you know very very i was very um uh, those energy of, those, a lot of energy yeah. he saw was mellow mm. flow is for whatever it's like yeah so we had that thing for they like, may bring the energy you bring the flow the so, mellow, yeah so it was it was now like a red and meth thing so when you went to ogopa Ogopa Zanu decided no you guys I need you guys to be individual artists. Uh-huh. You is a big Isa and big big you can you can do projects together uh-huh. but I want you people as a different identity. So the whole even idea for Big Pin was now to introduce myself to the identity scene, the identity as big even when I was starting if you notice the songs like with Joe mm. I didn't even have a stage name I was calling myself Crispin which is still my real name uh-huh. you know to, to yes, Crispin, yes, Crispin, yes, yeah yeah yes. you know I didn't even have a stage name then but now like my stage name came when when i remember how i used to be called in high school because of rugby and all mm-hmm. like i used to be called big pin by my high school guys like yeah let me use that you know so that's when i was well, I just turned actually i just turned 18 because i remember the song was released in december and mm-hmm. it, it had been recorded for like seven months before what okay so make out now to go studio too yeah me must there another another in make out too iko tu hapo tu Ona mwambie release my music. Kazi manze unesikia mara 1 million but you went unesikia. Uko tu hapo tu kwa studio. His name is Big Pin. Mazo mecheza mabeshte wako wote wamesikia manze. Mazo mbona ikoma mbona mbona itoki. Unaambia ngoja producer. Mbona yote mata wezi nini manze. Uko na tape. Yeah. Sasa tunaweza release or anything. That stuff. Yeah, so that's the time yeah. But that transition man, you know, um coming from that era of Gopa uh Isa First of all, even before we get to mm. that, right? We've had so many conversations with Nameless and uh, you know, Jua, mm. Nonini, everybody who's of that whole era of music, right? Mm. Of course, you and Isa were very close. Mm. How did that impact your career? You know, waking up one day and gone. Ah, man, it's crazy. It was like one of the, even the reasons I even took a break mm. was because of that. The person who brought me to the industry literally held my hand and told me, "Yo, yes. I was in I mean, we met in South Sea, yes, mm. we were 14, 15, you know. So my brain introduced us like, yeah, this guy's a poet like you because I used to write poems. Yes. Yeah. Like, you know, this guy writes poems like you and apparently he also does like some rap. I'm like, yeah, he's an interesting guy. So we met mm. and he showed me his poems. I'm like, wow, I used to write poems. This guy writes a lot of poems. He had a mm. book of like, let's say 50 yeah, yeah. poems. Yeah. He had like to do eight poems, which I'm, you know. So it's like, he was very interested in the art fully. So this is a person the whole time, even I never, in my whole even when I was growing up I never thought of being a musician ever it never even crossed my mind it wasn't even a test I just used to love music yes. I used to love like the poetry but just in a subtle way mm-hmm. not that in a way to express myself even yeah. so when I met this is then who brought up the whole cause used to read it tell me just 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 like like sing it so I sing it feels like okay, it's like why don't you like doing this like I just like sing it but it's and just listening to it so actually mm-hmm. anyway he 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 basically brought my brought me into the industry fully from the perception of coming into understanding now different aspect of it even the whole meeting of Ogopa because he's always he was the front line always yes. like yeah, let's try this nini let's do this so for me it was like the biggest blow ever you know and even to even make it was that whole the, the like the trip mm. i was supposed to be in that car but the reason i was i couldn't uh, get in because one of the guys who shot who was doing the videos who wanted to go and record whatever so that space was taken ah oh, you know okay. so we even talked on even after the show we even talked on first like how was it because that was the only show which i never went with this mm-hmm. all the shows which we, we all all of them from when he started this career we all us together all the shows anywhere that was the only one show which i never went with him and that's the only show which you know it was so it was a it was tragic you know it's crazy i was even talking to him like the night before he's telling me wow 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 you don't Energy. understand Nakuru was crazy. Mm. With Maliza did with Bumba train. Yani Pino yani there was no you know there was no video to show so yeah, yeah. you have to wait for someone to come and to just give you the actual the actual you know, story. So how was it like it was sick you get the crowd you get, you get it's happening you mm. know because the album was just a, just about to come out. Mm. You know like it's happening now. You get this this is what this is what we've been waiting for. about. This is what I've been telling you wow. this is the whole pilot so definitely it was a very 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 big blow. 
Bro, I take me back to an. You know, I've never heard that song. You know, we you rarely listen to it like fully. Yeah. Because guys just played a bit, you know, tiny, but just listen to it the whole. It just taking me back to South Sea. Exactly. Your time, Kwanza is here, manzi. Kwanza tape. Kwanza tape. Kwanza tape, manzi. What? No. You know, um, couple of say, was it last year? I think. Issa's bro, nameless, were in the studio. And we were talking about, uh, so you guys in South Sea had this whole way used to flip the, the, the swa, the like lingo. the lingo, right? <laughs> yes. As in it was like one of those things, if you're from South Sea, you get it, right? Mm -hmm. Like you guys could be like with guys of Langata, a very interesting story about that language. Uh. That language, we brought it to South Sea, me and my small bro. Okay. So there's some cousins of mine from uh, a small town called Nyahururu. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, central. In, yes. yes, central, yes, mm. in elite. So when we were ah. in class three, four, yes. uh, I mean, we used to go see, uh, visit, visit them, like mm. on holidays. Mm. So they used to talk like that. Yes. And they, uh, So we picked it up from them. And it was uh, the best way now for me and my bro to talk in front of my old lady or in front of your dad. pops, yes. Yeah. So and they also don't listen to the conversation. Yes. So that's how we picked it up. So it was even till today, me and my bro like speak like that. Ah. Like it's it, it's like it's it's a thing. So when we moved to South Sea, <coughs> so when we met Kinaisa, we used, me and my bro used to talk like that. Yes. So Isa was very interested, like you get what's that? Like that's so interesting. Just like no, it's just swap, but we're just adding NT mm. NT. So mm. that's like a code word for Nini. So that's how we started now speaking it in the pirates. Yes. So even Isa's bro and her babe now came in later, had had us speaking like that. Yes. So that's how hence how the song came up. Isa's one actually wrote the, part of the chorus of Dunda. 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 So that's how the story of now that like, then it became a click thing for the pirates. So it just be now our thing for, let's vibe like this so that other people won't understand. It was just a cool, you know, just like It's a cool like, thing. Cool vibe, yeah. So that's how it just went through. So everyone just picked it up, picked it up, picked it up. But that's, we got it from, from, you know, from those guys in, you know, Ruru. Ruru. Yes. Credit. Credit. <laughs> Credit. In, in, fact, in fact, the guy is called, uh, one of the guys called Simon Midianga. Uh -huh. He's even in the military, he's even in the States. Wow. And uh, then I get called Billy. A couple of guys who like, you picked it up from. But that was then, bro. You know, class five. So he just picked, like that, the whole time, the whole time. And that's he just picked up. So even when that conversation came up, we were just, me and my bro were just like, wow. Yeah, and it's crazy how, Things any of the over like 10, 15 years, yes. it just created a whole different culture again. Now the official Friday party tune. Yes, sir. Leo <laughs> Tuna. Go out. Yeah. Mm. I like this one. Like it's it? called No Diggity. No doubt. <laughs> Man like Big Pin in the place. Yes, sir. Shout going out to everybody from South Sea. Pamoja one always. Mm. Where? Yo, Silverstone Buzz can rap by the way. She don't play. Favorite female MCs right now. Wait, 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 wait. She's fire, fire, fire. She's fire, she's fire. She's fire. She's fire. For her projects like next year. She's just evolving, yo. You know what? What I like about her is, first and foremost, her energy, the flow. You know that whole bad B kind of vibe going on? Then her attitude. Then it suits her. Yes. Like it's not forced, like she's not that it, like mm. that's just her, like her persona. I exactly. Love, I love her, I love her music. Listen, guys, you need to go make sure you stream the album. Yes. The, the, the new EP. The, the new EP, yes. Make sure you listen to it, right? Now, here's the thing, right? You on Goma, first and foremost, Nishai Setindani. You, that we're playing. Kesho Subui Tunanza Nai. You only Ngomaya, Ngomaya Weekend for Fast, real, right? Na yo, no digidi. Now, shout out to man like Big Boss. I'm a Sema Nixolimi Sana. I'm a Rudisha South Sea Mbaya. Bas Nivo, man. You know, what I like about Nairobi is this, right? When you have different conversations with so many people, guys who have, um, you know, come from the east side of town, South Sea, Langata, Buru, what, what, what. Mm. You get to understand that guys came from so many, like, I know a whole group of people, uh, walikuwasi wa Buru phase five. Mm. Wakatoka, wakenda, runda. Unaskia, mm. watu walikuwa yeah. South Sea, wakatoka hiyo, wakenda, lavi, wakenda. Mm. It's so interesting, all mm. of these different communities. I think that's a very interesting... And you said <laughs> that's so true because a lot of even like people who even school, yes, these kids stay here as you're saying. So there was a click, for example, come on your saburu, on a time flan, you can move out. It's like when you move out, it's like her parents only move out in phases. Yes. Okay, Saitunenda, South Bia, Masa, they look at the same crew. 
Make sure you spin it because me I'm going to give it mad spins. Yo listen, you're my OG. I always respect you spending so time. Much. Whenever uh, I call you, you always pick up the phone and you know Kabisa. the love is real man. For sure for, for, for real man. You guys stream the EP manzi as well. Follow me on my social media. I have a podcast Big Pins Radio on YouTube as well. So okay, and that's what page zangu utapata your link. Check it out. Say the podcast again. Big, Big Pins Radio. I love it. Yeah, but you love it. thank you thank I like you. It. I like come it. come through Mskia stories. If you want to be part of it, come let's just have this story about Kenyan music. You know, Kenyan music how it started, where it's going, where it's going. I mean, be part of the growth because we're definitely going somewhere. Bless. Mm.